Welcome back to T&T's Blues Corner. Uh, it's about two minutes and 45 seconds of a cold start, as they say in the industry. We didn't say anything, we just played, but what we're doing today is we're going through the loop station, and we're into the super reverb again, and then I'm playing lead over with the Dirty Shirley, and I've got a dirty little secret from Catlin Bread, and I'm doing some things with a hop and a tape machine, and a lot of different stuff like that. Alright, so what do we have here? Well, if you've been a follower of the channel for a long time, thank you. Uh, today we're trying this out with the uh, with what I call Goldie, but this is the, a deluxe strat made in Mexico, where they make all the good stuff, really. In my opinion, they make some excellent, excellent guitars down in Mexico. Uh, craft, level of craftsmanship, right there. And really, uh, the American stuff just ships stuff down, and then um, the Mexican people who are wonderful craftsmen uh, of all kinds of stuff, not just guitars. Uh, make the necks and the bodies and stuff. And all, most of the hardware, from my understanding, comes from here. So uh, it, it's the best of both, wor both worlds, in my opinion. But anyway, what I've done with this one, of course, is I've put the Eric Clapton boost circuit under here. We've got this DiMarzio, DiMarzio um, rail pickup back here. All this was in the guitar when I bought it, except for the Eric Clapton boost. But the pickups are all in here. We have a Seymour Duncan noiseless. We've got a original noiseless pickup that came with the guitar. And then we got this DiMarzio to give it a Gives it some uh, and uh, and it does its a good job. When we were just playing this, we had none of the tone circuit in, or excuse me, none of the the kind of grit that you get out of the uh, the boost. None of that in. We've got the uh, TVX all the way up, so we've got a boosted mid or boosted treble, excuse me. This thing boosted mid. Anyway, and we were playing, uh, I think, in the bridge pickup. I don't know. wasn't paying attention. Anyway, the loop stations run the loop as we've done in some other videos previous to this. And uh, I just kind of made up something right on the spot here and then tried to play the, my, what come to mind, or like the first thing that come to mind, right? Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. It's all music and we're all having fun. But anyway, I'm going to, I guess, continue to play this. You've heard about this guitar. If you see one of these, this guitar I think I paid $200 for, $250 maybe, I can't remember. Uh, I was going, it was my birthday about five or so years ago, or six, I can't remember, it was ten years ago, I can't remember. And I had the money to buy the, an Eric Clapton Strat that they had at the store. And I played that Strat, and I, I really liked that Strat. But then I found this, and I like the Tinker. And I thought, well, uh, I'll just, I'll make an Eric Clapton Strat out of this. And I tell you, I played this, and I, I this, with the same set of strings, this guitar will feel slinkier for some reason than a, a, another strap. I don't understand it. I can put 11s on this. I could probably put 12s on this and they feel like 10s. I don't know what it is, but this guitar has a real slinky feel to it. The string bending and the tone quality is, I, I really, Goldie is one of my best uh, guitars. And that's what I love about going out and looking at guitars, even if you don't have the money to buy them all the time. Go out and try everything you can and you'll find you know, when you find that one, like this one, I played this guitar, I was doing the blues, uh, there's a, search my channel, uh, King of the Blues, I, I won like the local King of the Blues, whatever, it, blah, 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 didn't I? The point is, I played this guitar there one year, and I, uh, I wrote the serial number down because it, I didn't have the cash to spend on this thing, I forget what it was, like 600 bucks or something like that, I forget what this cost. So... I wanted to know if the next time, and I told myself if it was here in a year and I, and I saved money up, and the next time if it's there and I play it and, and not looking at the serial number and it feels the same and, and I fall with I will buy the thing. So that's exactly what happened. For some reason this one was never picked up, this Road Ward. And uh, I played it and it had the same feel and I looked at the serial number I had written down, exact same one, whatever. And out of all the ones I played that they had, and this was the Guitar Center, obviously, because it's the King of the Blues thing. I think I played four or five of them, and I didn't like any of them, except for this one. And I don't know what it is. I'm not knocking the craftsmanship in any way of anybody, really. I think it just has to do with you personally, how you connect with the wood and the tone qualities of the wood, the two pieces of the neck and the body, and the way they resonate together. The setup, obviously, is a lot. But for some reason, that guitar, I could pick it out of the lineup, even after many years. Uh, I could tell what it was as soon as I picked it up, and I bought it. I had to, to really work with it, the guy, though, and I had to, they, I think they, they took off some money because it had a soft shell case, and I had a case there, and I was like, did everything I could to be able to get that guitar, and that's, 
all my collection for the most part, except for gifts or when I sell, sell uh, actually sold something to get some other guitar, have been that way, you know, just uh, trading everything I could find to get it and just trying my best to, to get the money together. It's, uh, it is a passion. I have something called gas, excuse me, no, guitar acquisition syndrome. I don't know if anybody else has it out there, but I have it. And uh, uh, I have built my collection up over the years. I think it stems from not having guitars when I really wanted them when I was young. And it's one of those things, I think. And now I just have to have guitars, right? Or maybe it's just because I love guitars. I love the wood. I love the, uh, I love the smell and the feel and, and the taste of cotton. The fabric of... Oh, no, that's not... That's too, too. I'm going to play... Uh, we're already eight minutes into this thing. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Check me on Patreon. Just search for TNT's Blues Corner. Maybe one day I'll figure out how to put a link in the description of this without a computer. And that's what we're going for. We're trying to meet a goal so we can get better production for this. We've got the lights now, which are getting a little bit better. And we had the mics, and now the computer. And just uh, Thank you, Windows. I'm trying to get, I guess, a Mac. Everybody, you guys are telling me to, to go down the Mac route. So well, we need to put the money together. Anything you can help a dollar or whatever here and there. Thank you. Thank you, uh, LaCalm Thrillcut, Michael Duckworth, for being the patron you are. And... Uh, my legs asleep. Uh, I guess that's part of getting old. But anyway, I'm going to uh, play you out, and I will see you next time. If you want to hear anything different, you want to hear any of my guitars with any of my gear, please leave a link or the description. Of, please leave a comment. That's what I'm trying to get to. It's late, and we will do our we will, we will do our best to get done whatever we can for you. Um, as in, I uh, also if I get the computer thing together, I need to get. Uh, the Boss Katana settings out there for everybody because everybody seems to like my settings on that. Maybe we'll make it a, a file that you can download. I don't know. We can do something like that. Anyway, I will play you out and I will see you next time on TNT's Blues Corner. We're going to go back into this nice little rhythm and I'm going to kick in a little bit of this mid boost and we'll see where we're at here. Oh, here we go. <laughs>
I'm on TNT's Blues Corner. Blah, 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 blah. Type it in there and check out TNT's Blues Corner on Patreon. Join Michael Duckworth there, and uh, we'll try to get a new laptop together and do better sound, because I'm sure this didn't sound as well as, well as I like it. Probably gritty around the top. Hopefully it sounds okay with the IQ5, but we will see. Uh, it doesn't matter, I need to put this up anyway, because I'm trying to get... I'm getting you involved in the guitar. I'm trying to become a, a source of guitardom. We need to rule with the guitars, right? They said guitar's dead. Let's prove them wrong. I will see you next time on TNT's Blues Corner. Check it out. See you.